Hi, welcome back to Kolsky RC. So the other day I had the unboxing and, of, and initial impressions of this. This is the Eachine Wingard or EG16. So I've now flown it, so I wanted to come back and just tell you my thoughts on it. So you'll see I've got some fly footage coming up. It's quite stable in the air. It's not bad at all. And considering the weather crosswind of about six, seven mile an hour, so it did really well at holding its position. It flies very nicely. It's smooth in the air. It turns well. I hope you can see that from the video how nicely it does fly, I was quite surprised. Flight time says 14 minutes, it was more like 10 to be honest, uh, but it was the first charge of the battery. The controller feels nice. I actually do like this controller, I got very quickly used to it. It feels nice in your hand because it's a good width. It's ergonomic, and yeah, I did like it. The little screen's easy to read, even in bright sunshine to tell me how many satellites I had, etc. So a couple of little weird things, so, the SD card obviously is in the bottom there. You need to use a U1. If a uh, class 10 didn't work in this, I had to put a U1 in it. The strange thing is, if you press the button on the controller, it will record to your phone. If you press the button on the screen, it records to the SD card, which is normally the other way around. And I had a little bit of bother with it, which you're going to see because the first flight, when I took it out to fly it, it didn't actually record at all because I didn't have the right SD card in. And then so that's why you've got footage of the screen recording and it fl the flight filmed with my Osmo Pocket and then I, co I came back home and I've just flown it just around where, on where the street where I live just so you can get to see what the image looks like obviously there's no stability but the camera looks quite sharp it's a nice day today if anything it's a bit too sunny for the lens but I think it did it did okay it's not the best camera in the world but these things never do have but this thing flies really really nicely uh, I'd compare, the, I think this flies, it's got more presence in the air than the Visio GPS drone and it flies a little bit more stable than the Z5 but there isn't that much in it. The camera looks better than the Z5 because I think the camera's actually got a sharper image so for the cost and price I don't think it's bad at all. As I say the flight time is 10 minutes, if you, you'll probably get it better the more you've used it, the more you charge that battery up but the main thing about it is this thing flies well and I always say with drones like this it, it's what you, you're buying a drone especially if it's a, a brushed drone with no stabilisation and no gimbal what you're buying is a drone to fly the camera to me is very secondary that's why the camera on this thing's as good as I thought it was going to be but the drone itself flies a lot better than I thought it's probably one of the best toy grade brush drones I've flown. Admittedly today that I've just flown it the weather was good because the wind was very low but it performed really really well. So the video you're about to see is just of it doing a return to home which was a, which was to be fair couple, about a couple of meters off. You're going to see from the video how far it was when I did the return to home. You'll see it flying through the air, see what it looks like, how it hovers, the return to home. I've then got some footage filmed with the screen recorder that I'll put on so you can see what the app looks like and what the image looks like back to your phone and then as I say I've just got a couple of minutes of it flying just outside my house here so you can just see what the camera looks like so yeah it's a winner for me I do recommend it if you do want to buy this please use my link below because it makes a big difference to me uh, and get it while you can because it is on a summer special at the minute so thanks ever so much have a fantastic day as you can see there's probably a couple of miles of that, five or six miles of crosswind at this point. The wind does die down dramatically during the flight, but you can see it's quite stable. The optical flow seems to be working well. It doesn't lose too much in height. And overall, it, it does look quite stable. For, for, for what it is, for a toy grade drone, I think it's really stable, to be honest. So it does well there. We're just going to take it and fly it around a little bit now. We're going to keep it quite low to see how it drops in height. So it's not doing too bad. I thought it might have dropped a bit more than that, but yeah, it's not doing bad at all. Let's bring it back again. It seems to stop decently well when you let go of the controls, which is another added bonus. Sometimes these don't, they tend to drift f for a long way, so the, d the optical flow seems to be doing okay on this. I've tried some cheap optical flow drones and you get a bit too much drift in them into corners, but this is doing quite well, so let's just fly it around again. It turns well dropped quite a bit of height there but it gains again when you start coming back forward again so it's dropping a bit into the turns but it comes back up again but this is an 80 pound drone not a 250 pound brushless drone so yeah it's not doing too bad at all
it seems to be flying something like decent. So we're going to do a return to home. Let's see how it gets on with the return to home. Let's see how accurate it is. So it turns, which is quite nice. A lot of these don't turn when they're coming back. They just come back backwards. So it does turn. Well, it sometimes they turn around again. I don't know whether this will will or won't. And they normally hover in the air for a good few seconds to try and get the bearings of where they are, especially because this has got optical flow. I think that's what it's going to do. Yeah, so it's definitely hovering now. It's still facing towards us, but sometimes well, some of these drones turn round, so I don't know if this one will or not. Yeah, there you go, so it's turned round, and now it's starting to descend. So it's coming down, it's coming down quite fast actually. It's slowed down as it's got nearer the ground, and there it goes. So I think we're a few metres away there. Yeah, probably about two and a half, maybe three metres, so not horrendous, but not the best. So unfortunately when I went out and back to fly this again to get some video footage the wind has got up considerably which is why it's been blown about a little bit but you're going to get a general idea what the camera looks like. The colours are a bit oversaturated and but it is quite sharp but it's what you expect it's 25 frames per second it records in so it's not doing too bad at all. I think it's adequate for what it is. So this is my review on the drone but there's also a load of other features that I haven't tested yet which is like return which is follow me mode and there'll be the waypoint kind of map thing on there and then also of course it's got gesture control I will do another video shortly for this but this is the main thing I wanted to concentrate on what it flew like and does the camera look okay and I think it's acceptable for the money so tell me what you think in the comments down below
So thanks for watching my channel. If you like the video, please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell. There's plenty more good stuff coming up.